In this video, we will be seeing how Sellopic AI fares against the all new Hicksfield AI canvas because now both these tools can do product placement. For this example, we will be taking the help of these two jewelry items simply because jewelry is one of the toughest things when it comes to product placement because of the complex and intricate patterns. And if a software can handle jewelry, it can pretty much handle anything out there. We will be putting these two items onto this particular image and we'll keep everything the same to judge the results. So the first thing that you'll do is you'll have to go over to Sellapix website. The links to all the tools as well as the images that you're seeing here are given in the description even on the free plan you will be able to use this 20 times so once you log in and see this page you're going to go over to AI model image here on the left then you're going to go over to virtual try on accessories which is selected by default let's first of all try the necklace so we're going to upload the image of the necklace right here once this is done we don't need to select any of the templates that they're giving simply because we have our own image. So we are going to select the custom option here and let's upload our own image. The moment you upload the image is gonna ask some things to get the context. For example here, yes, the category is necklace, subtype also necklace and gender female. Then we're gonna hit create. The next thing that we'll have to do is just create the mask where the replacement will take place. So for this, we can take the brush and then I can change the brush size accordingly from here. And then let's say just draw a rough mask around this like this. And that's all you need to do. And we're just going to go down and hit confirm. And the last thing that we'll have to do is we'll just have to make sure that the scale of this necklace is correct. And how you determine that is just imagine the photograph here. How small should this necklace be? So just make sure it's something close to that. Even though to be frank, it doesn't make too much of a difference because we already have drawn a mask. So it anyway cannot extend beyond that. But doing this much is also fine. And then it's gonna cost you two credits. I'm gonna hit generate and let's wait for these results. All right, so we got our two results. So we can just open this up and let's see the first result. And you can see that if you compare this to the uh, original necklace, it's got everything spot on except for the part about the gold chain because we only have four gemstones and then the gold chain starts. But here you can see the gemstones are just continuing in one line. Let's look at the second result to see if that has got this. You can see this is slightly better. We can see, see the chain now. But again, if you count this, this is not fully accurate. Now in Cellapic, what you can do when you're faced with such a situation is to hit this edit tab. And we do have an option to retouch this photo. So I can go here and select image retouch. And then I can just count this one, two, three, four. So from here onwards, we need the gold chain. You can just brush over it, maybe on this part also, something like this. Now the problem here is that I can type in a prompt which says gold chain, and hopefully it should be able to generate it, but there's no way for us to give a reference image here. So it's just basic in painting that relies on a prompt. So we don't know what kind of a gold chain it will generate. However, with Hicks field, you're gonna see that things are a bit different because we will also be able to provide the image. But right now, let's wait for these results. All right, so we've got our two results. This one is the first one. You can see it has taken one of those gemstones away, but we still have an extra one here. Has it solved that in the second image that we've got? No, so it didn't make any change at all. So you could see that even a very sophisticated software like Cellopic AI is struggling with something like this. But since this is a comparison video, we're just gonna take this and move forward with this. So now just to save time, I did exactly the same thing. So I downloaded this particular image and did exactly the same thing with the earring also. And this was the final result that we have got with Cellopic AI. We've already seen the consistency with the necklace. It's not 100% accurate. And now if we see the zoomed in result for the earring, you can see it has done a pretty good job, even though the image quality is not that great. But overall, it's still a decent product placement for something that is really, really complex. Now let's head over to Hicksfield AI and see how it performs. So we're gonna go over to Canvas here and let's upload the same image here also. And now we have to do the same thing. We have to draw the mask. So you can hold down control or command and then just drag your mouse wheel because this mask has to be really precise. And when you need to move around the canvas, you can hold down the space bar key and then move. So we are just gonna draw something like this. Especially with Hicksfield, be very careful about the size of the mask because there's no way to change the scale of the reference image. So make sure this is not too big. Otherwise, even the replacement will be too large. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add the photograph of the necklace right here under the reference image. And we can just type in a simple prompt which says change the necklace. 
and we're going to hit generate and let's wait for the result. All right, so our results are ready. Let's have a look at this. So this is the first result. If you just zoom in, you can see this time the overall quality is much better than what we got with Sellopic. It just looks much better, but you can see here again, we're facing the same problems. This time more of the chain is seen, but again, the number of gemstones is four. Let's see if the other results give a better one. This is definitely not it. You can see this result looks good, but let's just see the last one here. So I think the third result, if we zoom in here, is really nice because now the count is exactly the same. Maybe not for the left side, but at least for this one. But here, at least what you can do in Higgs field is because we can inpaint with the reference feature, even if you've got, let's say, something like, let's see the first result, right? Now, this is not perfect. We need to remove one of the stones. So what we can do is we can just paint over this, and this time we can crop that particular image of the original necklace and only keep it to the chain part like this one, upload this particular image here, and then type in a simple prompt which is replace the gemstone with the gold chain since we've already brushed it over. So it's going to hopefully see the reference picture and be able to replace this. So let's wait for the result. All right, so we've got our results and let's have a look. So this is the original. And this time you can see that it has not done the job. So it has actually added another gemstone here. Let's see this one. It's done the same thing. This time it's just replaced it with something else. Again, here also didn't work. So sometimes when this is the case, you just have to do this a couple of times. And I was ultimately able to achieve the final result, like you can see in front of you. And I had also replaced the earring. So this is the final result that you're seeing with Higgs Field AI. But you can see when it comes to the earring, the job looks really, really poor. And I tried this a couple of times. I was not able to get a better result than this. So at this point, you can see that both the tools are struggling with something or the other. Now, at this point, you can do one thing, which is that you could have taken the result from Sellapic AI and then only worked on the gold chain part by using what we did right here, because now we can inpaint with the reference pic by uploading the picture that we got from Sellapic AI. So that's one option. But what I did was I basically took the best of both the worlds, so the earring from the Sellapic picture and the necklace from the one that we got with Hicksfield. And then you can use any editing software that allows you to work with layers and simply form a composite. I did this in Photoshop and this was the final result. So you can clearly see that with complex products, we still don't have a definite answer as to which tool is better. Since Sellapic AI costs $29 a month and Hicksfield Canvas costs $9 a month, what I would say is that if you have very simple products, you can definitely go ahead with Higgs Field Canvas, but if not, you would probably have to use a combination of both because Sellapic AI definitely maintains more consistency in most of the products out there, as I've shown in a couple of my videos in the past. In case this video helped you out, do give it a like. And if you want to follow along all my experiments in the AI image and video editing world, then make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time.